Okay, hey guys, um, today I'm going to give you full warning right now. I'm going to be ranting. So if you don't want to hear a rant, please click off while I'm being pleasant because I'm about to get really, really fired up because I am pissed off about something and I need to talk about it. <clears throat> okay, so a few weeks ago, maybe it's actually probably like, like last week, I uploaded a video about my antique haul. It got really, that's not, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about what I didn't film. Because it's been weighing on my mind and literally every time I step out of the house, shit happens to me. And it's not fun. That's why I don't ever leave my room. Because honestly, my room is a lot safer than the outside world. <laughs> Which is horrible and I'm probably going to become a recluse when I'm older, but you know what? That's okay. So, this has happened to me multiple times, and I just, mm, I'm watching people right now. I just, uh. Okay. Literally every time I have stepped out of the house in the past three weeks, I have had some rude, usually white, usually middle-aged male come up to me and touch my person. Not like sexual harassment touching, but it's uncomfortable. When I was on my antiquing haul, I went to Walmart, which, I mean, I probably shouldn't have gone there, but I had, my grandmother and I had to go get food, and that's, like, the closest thing that we ha have up there to a grocery store, other than, like, the, the, like, really crappy, like, Safeway knockoff that they have there, and Safeway's, like, a not-so-great. Right. Anyways, it <laughs> doesn't matter. We were in Walmart, and, um... <clears throat> just wanted some fucking croutons, that's all I wanted, just want some croutons, no big deal, some sweet potatoes, because we we're gonna have like a, and anyway, so this like middle-aged tall man just comes up to me and puts his hand very, very lightly upon my shoulder, and of course, I'm like, really, you're gonna do that right now, get the fuck off of me, but like, of course, I, me, that's in my brain. But of course, me being the social anxiety just queen and just my brain goes blank when people talk to me kind of person that I am, I was kind of like, oh, hello, what do you want? And that sounds really terrible and I'm probably going to get just kidnapped someday because I'm just, I, I'm so mad I can't even formulate sentences. Um... So he came up to me and was like, hey, little girl, and I'm just like, no, I'm not that little. I'm short, but I'm not that little. And I, at that point in time, I had my head covered with a scarf. Now, I normally do that for fashion reasons, but that particular day, it was sunny-ish, like the sun had kept coming in and out, and I had had my head covered because I, the sun will fade my hair. Like, sun, you know, sun bleach fades colors, the sun fades colors in your hair. That's the thing. I can't form coherent sentences. I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ. Um, but he came up to me and he said, you know, hey, what is this scarf? And he like touched my head and I was screaming on the inside. I was so uncomfortable. It was like, please dude, get the fuck off. And so I backed up and was like, please don't touch me. And he's like, oh, oh, you know, but I just gotta know, what's the, with the scarf? Like, your hair's turning pink. And I looked him dead in the eyes and said, I have a genetic disorder, so please don't ever ask me again. Obviously, I don't have a gene genetic disorder. It was because I had hair dye, but I, I was so sick of that question and I wanted him to go away that I was just kind of like the most sarcastic bitch that I could be. So, I mean, he backed up, he's like, oh, okay, just wondering. And I was like, please never talk to me again. And he walked away. But what I want to know, and so this has happened to me on so many occasions, I want to know why people think it's okay to come up to specifically goth people and alternative people. And I'm talking, this happens obviously, this could happen to anyone, but in my experience, when I dress more outlandishly, people come and feel like, I get, it almost feels like they think that because I am dressed in a certain way, it just gives them free reign to put their hands upon my person. And I don't get that. <laughs> I don't understand why that's a thing. I'm not asking you to touch me. I don't have a free hugs t-shirt on. 
stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Unless you specifically ask me or if I'm like, hey, hug, yay, that would be great. Then don't touch me. I don't care if my hair is blue, pink, purple, black, or blonde for fuck's sake. Don't touch people at all. <laughs> Especially if they're strangers, because that's weird. I have had people come up and physically touch my hair and just pull on it, like, to see if it's real. I, this happened to me when I had my ha half of my hair dyed, and this happened to me two years ago when I had my hair completely red. I had grown adults. I mean, I can understand, I can totally understand children. Little children, you kind of, like, you know, under the age of, like, six, maybe, maybe even, that's a little bit too old, I think, personally, because kids should be taught, like, personal space. Like, kids, I can understand, you know, let it go, because you look like a big, goofy cartoon character, let's be honest. You have funky, funky colored hair, kids are going to be, you know, a little bit curious. That's fine, I have no problem with that. But when you have people who know that personal space is a thing, I have had hair ripped out of my head because people think that it's okay because I have made a lifestyle choice that it's okay to come up to me and pull on my hair like it's some fucking wig. They didn't ask, they said nothing to me. They're like, oh, I like your hair. Well, they said, oh, I like your hair, is it real? And then pulled on it before I even had a chance to say anything. The same thing happened to me in my freshman year of high school. Uh, I was in gym class and I was putting my earrings back in. Well, these were like the fake gauge earrings, so they were like thicker, like here, and then they had like the normal thin part that you could put through your piercing, and then they had a thick part in the back. Some bitch <laughs> decides to come up to me and rip my earring out of my ear to see if it was real. She came up to me, This is and this is a girl I don't particularly like, so I, I, I don't know why the fuck she was talking to me in the first place. She ripped it out of my ear. Out. Completely out. Like, it didn't go through, but the earring separated and broke. And she's like, oh, sorry, I thought it wasn't real. And I, and I was like, bitch, you saw me take this out. It just, even so, why didn't you ask me? Those were a $50 pair of earrings that I can't replace. And I don't like you enough to ask you to replace them because you're just going to laugh at me. So the moral of this rant is don't touch people especially alternative peop looking people, regardless of whether or not they look, you know, weird or outlandish. If they do not, if they do not specifically say that you can touch them, don't touch them. I've seen people have their dread, like synthetic dreads ripped out. I've seen people have clothing torn. I've seen spikes taken out of people's like clothes. I've, I've had ha my hair ripped out and I've had my earrings ripped out. And it's not like we were fighting or anything, she just came and ripped out my fucking earring. I am still so mad about this. But it's not, that's not like, it's it's not an unusual occurrence to me, for me apparently, because people will just come up and touch me. And I'm like, please, back up. And I ask them to back up, and sometimes they won't. And that's the scary part. Because I'm a little white girl who can't, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little white girl, I can't defend myself very well. Because you know what, I'm, I'm fucking like... This is, this is not, this is not strength, like, no, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So this is just like a PSA slash rant. If you are going to put your hands on anyone, especially strangers, as, just anyone in general, ask them. It's not that hard. Unless you're like acquainted with them. And even if you are, just be like, hey, what's up? And like, make your intentions kind of known I guess don't just go up and randomly touch people like that's just it would make the world a better place so my rant is over I'm done speaking just just I am so done with having various parts of my outfit ruined or my hair ripped out of my head and I shouldn't really have to make this because this shouldn't be happening but fucking it does so whoop the fucking do as always, I'm sorry for all the profanity in my rants. I swear like a sailor. Whatever. Um, if this, if anything like this has ever happened to you, I don't. I hope I'm not the only one 
that if this has happened well i hope i'm the only one that, that sounded really mean like i i feel like we could but if this has happened to you i feel like we could commiserate but at the same time i really hope this shit hasn't happened to you because it sucks and it's scary so <sighs> rant over i guess okay bye guys <laughs>